Welcome to technical drawing. Today we'll see how to draw this sum as copy ISO. So now if you see length, width and height, length is 100, 20, 60, 20, height is 50, 15, 20, 15 and width is 64. So first I will draw layout. All of you know how to draw layout. We will draw 30, 30 degree. So we are done with this. Now we'll draw this part. How much is this? 20. See this, this is 20. So I'll mark 20, then I will draw a vertical line. After that, this height is 15. This height is also 15. Then you go inside by 10. Then you draw a vertical line. So this is how you'll draw the front part. Now we'll take this part. We'll take this part behind. How much you have to go behind? 64. After that, see this 20 and it goes down by 15. So I'll take 20. And this inside part is 10. Then you draw a vertical line like this. We'll draw up and down both. And we'll join all these lines. So we'll get this rectangle. So once we get this rectangle, we have to show depth, which is 10. See this like this so we have to just take all the lines inside by 10 and we'll get this now see this the same part is on the other side also Now this is 20. See this. C part we can draw like this. And we take the depth inside. Now that reminds me over here also I have to draw this depth then you extend from here to get the upper C part Then I'm drawing this inside part to see. Now if you see this part, 
circular part diameter is 40 so what i need to draw i need to find the center and i have to take draw with four center method i have to draw a circle so say i'll take midpoint which is this is 64 right so 32 then i will go down i'll go down by 25 because total height is 50 and from there i'll take 20 20 on both the sides see this so now we have center diameter is 40 so i'll mark 20 20 20 20 see this so with four center method we can draw this longest diagonal then from here we'll join this way now see this we have one two three four now from one to m we can draw arc but we don't require that see this one to m we can draw arc but we don't require so we'll do it from two see this so from 2 to M and I will draw arc then I will take 3 to M and then I will take 4 to M see this and then I will draw tangent see this 3 to M and 4 to M 3 to M and 4 to M and we'll draw tangent so i hope everyone understood how to draw copy isometric of the sum so we are done with copy isometric of the sum thank you